It's Madden NFL 22, and we've got a showdown in the NFC West. It's the Cardinals and the Rams coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Arizona Cardinals and the Los Angeles Rams. Side as always, my partner Charles Davis and CD. In the few moments here before kickoff, let's give these folks at home a look at these two offenses by the numbers. What, what stands out to you? Brandon, I just continue to be amazed by the analytics of the game, and it's an area where I continue to concentrate and study because I'm still trying to figure out how coaches and coordinators can really crunch the numbers and find where exactly on the field a defense is vulnerable. It's the game within the game. And if you really dive into it, it can be endlessly fascinating. years in Detroit and now it is first season with Los Angeles and Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft and he certainly played like a top pick throughout his career he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon not only that he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now it's Stafford. And the pressure gets to him and brings him down. Stafford is sacked. Going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. First carry now for the Memphis man, Daryl Henderson. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A good pick. Now Stafford. Open man is Higby, the tight end. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. Spot Defensively, how do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mouse trap. That's hard. This is Henderson. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. From the gun, a give to Henderson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup. Of... Stafford now to throw. And he's wrapped up. Taken down, back at the 25. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they four. Another try after the first down sack. Stafford 
Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Henderson. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Off of play action. Here's Stafford. Going for it all. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now they're staring at a fourth. A 34-yard attempt. And Gay knocks this one through. And the Rams have the first points here. It's 3-0. They move the ball pretty well there on the opening drive. You think they're okay settling for three? I don't think they're happy about settling for three, but I think you're exactly at the 25. Arizona Cardinals offense coming out here for the first time, and you get a peek at Kyler Murray, the dangerous offensive weapon now in his third season in the National Football League. And when you have a guy like Kyler Murray under center, it not only opens up your playbook, it allows you to draw up even more plays because he's among the best dual threat quarterbacks in the league and a true playmaker. If flushed out of the pocket, he might even be more dangerous. The next step for him, being able to throw on rhythm and deliver from the pocket. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. carry for James Conner and he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Shotgun now for Murray. And that is incomplete. They've got man coverage on the outside and my scouting report on third down. On the draw, this is Henderson. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall. From the gun, Murray. Buying time to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. The improv. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Murray to air it out again. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Murray going to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not... Third and 15. Out of the gun, they give to Henderson. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. The Lutie seven. To throw is Murray. Flush to his right. Murray has the first down and more. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Able to find a lot of... Murray going to hold on to it once more. And he's taken down inside the 30. And that one will go for 13. Young's finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll go option to the short side. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Murray giving to Connor on the option. And this time he is in. Yes. James Connor. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10-3 to now. That time, a six at the line. Just a lone field goal for him so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Roughing the passer. That's shades of Charles Davis back in his playing days. Only coverage on this down. 
On third down, here's Henderson. And he'll take this to the 47, but no further as they get him. They'll go option to the short side. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. A gain of eight on the keeper. Murray now to throw. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he takes his third and nine. Here's Murray. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he can only man. They run with Henderson. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A gain there of 12 yards. Come up on first and 10. Here's Henderson. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. A solid run on first down, gain of seven. Just one for five to this point. Here it's third and three. Henderson will try to run for the first. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Throwing a Stafford. And he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. And he gets this inside the 30. Long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Stafford. And that is incomplete. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does. Gay's kick is good. And that'll bring them back within four. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are to the right on second and five. Murray now. That's complete to Edmonds, his running back. Oh, Edmonds has it knocked loose. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Always costly if up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. potential to over. They're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. goes up and gets it to throw on second and ten Murray going deep for Hopkins oh what a catch by Hopkins and yeah, they're able to work this to the 25 Prater's kick is good and that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13 to 6 so not the greatest of first halves for him, but a little ray of light here at the end. The late turnover becomes three points before the break. end zone comes Andy Isabella and he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line the 
Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Third quarter starts with a run from Connor, and not much to speak of. Here's Murray. That's good. Well, now going forward, set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Anderson, a first down and more. And finally, down at the 36-yard line. 85 now, first and 10. Here's Henderson. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. It's a gain of 15. In the a shotgun snap for Stafford. This one to the left to Higby. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That gain of 15 gets him on the dirt. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. And he's going to take this one in for the Rams touchdown. Sony Michelle, a five yard touchdown run. Is it astronomical or no? It, 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 it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. Extra point by Gate. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. An ideal beat. Murray going to throw. Dancing to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the... To throw, it's Murray. On oh, the slant complete to Green. It's going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 27-yard line. Throwing now is Murray. And this will be swung out here for Connor. And he'll be out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oh, on fourth and goal from the wall. They'll run for it with Connor. And not only will he not get in, he's going to lose yardage. They stuff him back at the four. Now a handoff, Henderson. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as they'll stop him well short. To back in completions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Out of the gun, here's Murray. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Murray hook it perfectly and knocked it free. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And he's able to take it to Rams offense at the line. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one receiver route. On the handoff, Henderson showed some solid running, strong running, and then he's caught. Stafford now to throw. Isaiah Simmons in there to get him for a loss of 9-10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor. A first down for Connor and then so. And finally taken down at the 30-yard line. 47 yards. There's Murray. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And with that, they will move out in front by three.
So he remains perfect three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because negotiations, doesn't it? The Rams on third down, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This will be third and five. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. Time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. Murray now going deep for Hopkins. It's a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. This will be third and six. Throw right side going to be caught by Higby. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down. Could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 44. Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. To throw is Stafford. That'll be swung out wide here for Henderson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another big hitter there. This Henderson now on first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right. On the draw, this is Henderson. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field. And I don't think he got there. They end up and Gay knocks this one through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. A first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They start with a give to Connor, and they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard at this stage of the game, as now they've got it third and long. Murray going to throw. He's going to look deep for more. And got his man complete. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. They're able to convert on third. I don't want it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Meanwhile, on third down. A 26 yard Raiders' kick is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Second and 10 from the 25. Back to throw, Stafford. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And they're able to get in. Here's Stafford. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henderson. And down he goes at the 40. Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. This is caught. It's Woods. And he is tackled inside the 40. Not line of scrimmage. Again, the 37 as they line up second and 10. Stafford now to throw. That's taken in by Henderson. And he is out of bounds, but not before. Back to throw. And he'll find Henderson there. It's complete. They get him to the ground right up. He'll look to throw. Right side complete. That's what. To the right side, this is Henderson. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the And his kick is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it. Gain of three, second down. Final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. 
If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And they will play it safe here and bring this one out to the 25. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. As we said, they control their own destiny now. And they'll start out here with a jet sweep. Shreds the tackle, and he's up in it after a gain of Everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. On third down, here's Henderson, and he won't be close to a first down. What can Murray do now with his drive? And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. Shotgun now for Murray. Going deep for Hopkins. And this is for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Here's Stafford. Caught left side, Hopkins. And he's able to take it. Play action, Stafford. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well, because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. And now the Cardinals are going to use another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. with you. 